Hey, everybody, just for to say, back out again with part 5 of Siren Generations. Here we are, we are go jumping straight in with the final. The final. What is this? Era, sorry. Final level of the era of the Dreamcast era. Jumping in with Act 1 of Seedside Hill. With a beautiful hint of spikes. So, yeah, welcome, everybody. Welcome. Hopefully, y'all are having a had a beautiful week and I believe this should be January yep by this point we are in January so here we are this might be the fourth video of the new year actually I'm gonna check that real quick but yeah so this is Seaside Hill it, for, it was the fourth level in the GameCube game Sonic Heroes well actually it's in, for GameCube PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox it used the engine called Wonderware, of course, in the Sonic the Hedgehog series, created by the same people as always, Sonic Team and all that. And then it had a unique play play style. It used um, what do you call it? Team playthrough. It used like this thing where it was like you had to like you control three characters at the same time, and you like worked as a team. And it was really cool. I really liked it. I thought it was too cool. I always liked the mechanic. I have not been in that game yet. I will say that I've not beaten the game yet, but I'm definitely working towards it. Yep, this is the first video of the new year, unless I make a new video sometime on the first three days. But yeah, so happy new year by first video of 2019. Nothing but too special. But yeah, so there's nothing too much. Um, I do not have too much history of Sonic Heroes. I believe it's the first time I've ever experienced two Sonic the Hedgehog, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, I don't really know what my first movie song is. I sometimes like I'm like I think it's like when I first saw the saw the first episode of Sonic get the first episode of season three of Sonic X on TV one day. Some th some things tell me that oh it's when I watch a playthrough of it on YouTube. But other things tell me that oh it was it when I played the demo for this game. So I don't really know. I never I uh, I'm not gonna really say anything else. Those are the three big reasons I think that got me into Sonic. But yeah, basically those things that got me started on those, so. Three big things right there. Then of course, y'all all already know this game right here, Sonic Generation, just was my first Sonic game, get it into it. Full Sonic game release. So yeah. That was a lot of words right there. <laughs> uh, that's the whole point of these videos, talk, 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 talk. But yeah, um, this game, Sonic here is actually the return of the Chaotix as well. It was when they f came back. They came back um, after being in Knuckles Chaos, which was their debut game. And yeah, uh, all the other characters kids we've had before, like Bid the Cat, Cream the Rabbit. There's not just Cream the Rabbit's first 3D appearance as like a full like playable character since Sonic Advance 2. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, it came out back 2003. Yeah. There was something too much about um this was the first game where Metal Sonic was like a mate well not I guess not a major part of the game but like well he was a major part of the game. But he was a major villain. This first time he was like the he had the main role as villain. And one of the only times. Actually recently the IDW comics just wrapped up their uh, kind of reinterpretation of Sonic Heroes. They kinda they took up like we had well, I won't spoil what happened, but if you haven't been keeping up with it, they have been the recent um, thing. This the IW so Sonic comics happens after everything Sonic Forces, and it's like well, people. I remember I was asked this. He was like, "Well, why is Metal Sonic a clone? Why don't we just make a bunch of Metal Sonics?" Well, that's actually gets explained in that and all that, but I won't get into because it's actually a pretty big twist. I might make a video on the IDW comics. Once issue 12 comes out, because it'll not be the first 12 comics, you know, it'll be the first full story arc. What's well, the mini ones, but the first full story arc, and I might do a video, be like, okay, these are all my thoughts and everything. So, yeah. Um, if y'all want me to, like, I don't mind talking about every issue, but I might do that one day. Maybe it's every couple, I might do like every, like, four issues, because that's normally how they seem to do it. So, like, okay, four, four issues, new arc. Or it might be part of a whole progressive story, but like, okay, these four issues are like, uh, I'm trying to think of examples. Like, the first four issues is like, Sonic's starting to like, recruit people, like, was for him like, 
basically getting recruited back into the resistance and all that. Because resistance movement is still a thing. But yeah, anyways, this is Seaside Hill Act 2. This is one of my favorite stages. I actually remember... Uh, I'm trying to remember. It was, um... I was at a friend's place, and they were playing this game. And I remember they couldn't beat it. And I remember I came through, and I beated it. <laughs> I remember that, because I'm like, I love this game, oh my gosh. So, yeah, it was fun. I feel like, it was a bunch of younger kids, so it was fun. And I was kind of, I was kind of like that older kid, and I was like, oh, I know how to play this game. By the time I thought, I don't even think I was that old at the time. I don't even, I may not even even been in middle school yet. <laughs> but to them, I was old, so. It was kind of cool. I was like, wow, I'm a cool kid in the moment. <laughs> but yeah. Of course, when you're, in, you're on YouTube, you're always cool, right? A. <laughs> um, yeah, I do like this stage. Um, it is a bit more linear. I feel like at times a fourth section is, but after that, like right here, gets really open. I love the section where we blast out, got the whales coming by and jumping up and missing almost nearly every time. Yeah, I really do like that. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, there's really nothing else about Sonic Heroes that like I really know about or. It's never really been a big part of my childhood. It was more one of those games I picked up later on and I started playing. So yeah, it's, there you go. This time I made it. I died for a reason, guys. I did it on point. It was all planned. I promise you that. Yeah, I have some time. I don't know. You were going to see especially these la the last era, the third era. I don't boost as much, but. I'm like afraid. Seaside Hill is definitely where the difficulty starts to go up. That's definitely where the difficulty. Okay. Difficulty starts to go up. I did do a practice playthrough before this because I. Yeah, I did a bit of that. Like sometimes. Well, this is going to be like a month old news by the time this corn comes out. But, um. Sonic Unleash. Um, it just got announced to be, it's now backwards compatible with the Xbox One. So I'm gonna have to play that. I have not played that game in such a long time. I might do play. I'm, I don't know. That might be our next Sonic playthrough, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Like so far, Sonic videos have been going to be good. So I plan to keep pumping them out for y'all. It is my favorite video game series. Yeah, I don't like the total section. I only I've only ever done the go. -Kart. Well, I've done the total section once, and I don't like it. <laughs> but yeah, Sonic only wants this now. So I might I need to do a playthrough of that game. I might record it. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I probably record it once I get a capture card. That's, okay, that's one thing. I know I've said this before, but with this series, y'all can probably tell why I do have to do jump cuts or cuts or when it goes to the next part of the footage because you're going 10 minutes at a time, which I think is kind of dumb, personally. But, you know, it's that type of stuff you kind of got to deal with, sadly. I wish it wasn't like that. I really do. Anyway, so we are oh, should be almost done with the stage. We are about to get about to get ready to wrap this up. Yeah, but yeah, I do think I'm happy they finally found Sonic Unleash with the backwards compatibility because that's one game that I'm like was one of the first Sonic games I did play. Well, one you know it's one of the games I was like at the Sonic Generation, so that's what I'm playing. I want to say my second game was Black Knight. Oh no. I can promise you all this, it will definitely be a Black Knight playthrough on this channel. Hopefully, I plan to do that next year. I don't have all the playthroughs for next year planned out, but I do have a couple in my head. There's a couple of games that, or, well not really, there's a lot of games that I know I'm going to be playing soon. It's really just because I can't record Wii games yet, and that's a bit of a problem currently, sadly, but... You know, we'll get there guys, we're slowly getting there. We'll get modern eventually. We we'll get model, model, what? Not mon, mon, not monetize, mod, modern. We'll get modern, model, what? We'll modernize our channel. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's just kill some. Let's just watch this on kill some robots. Right, I hate this section right here, because I was like, okay, I don't want to walk forward because I'm probably gonna fall off. So I'm like, oh, I know a way I won't fall off. I just boost, and then work out. Of course, if I just would have went forward. I would've been fine. Good stump. I've never really liked this section, because I feel like I always want out boost in this section. Every time. I swear that happens every time. But, you know, especially, it's like, right here, I'm like, go, 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 boost. 
Yeah, I just barely don't make it. Just two little sides up there. But yeah, that's an act. What? Well, yeah, act. Wow, it's been a bit. You t I okay. Wow. Can you tell it's been a bit since I have recorded a part of Sonic Generations? Can you tell? But yeah, we're gonna keep it going on here. We are gonna keep going, keep going. Alright, so we are now going on over to Shadow, I believe. Oh, well, we gotta see the little cutscene here, actually. more of what's happening and it's not good Whoa. when that thing goes through time it tears space apart leaving the areas empty and dead and sticking them in this weird white limbo when the sonics accelerate through time they fix space returning color and life Then I guess we have to run like there's no tomorrow, or there won't be a tomorrow. It takes a mighty foe to trap a ninja. Be on your guard, Sonic. Hmm. All right. And now with that, we got all well, the way I was happy, but we also got all of these bonus stages back in. Cause you know, gotta do that extra content, and of course we gotta get those achie doom achievements. Cause we're on Xbox. But yeah, we are. I'm going the wrong way. We are gonna go fight Shadow. Here we go. Here we go. I love the Shadow is my favorite boss fight in the game. It really is. It's this and then Chaos. Oh, that's not your next boss. That's the next part. Oops. So, a bit too early. Yeah, we're gonna get straight into it. I think why he was... Well, I know we did a little cut, I guess. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna just jump straight into it with a cutscene. So, I'm gonna be quiet again. Ready, go! Alright, anyways, first of all, shut up, Oma Chow, no one likes you. Second of all, we, this boss fight, okay, so this boss fight is supposed to be like the boss fight from Sonic Adventure 2, and um, I found a destination and all that. Except what you gotta do, your boost, doing a boost battle against Shadow, but you gotta get these little orange, pink balls of power. You gotta get two of them. You the first one, and you start charging up your attack. Get the second one, you're able to really do some damage, and I think Shadow actually gets the second, the, f the other two before me, so he's actually able to show off his attack, which I have not actually ever seen until this point. At least, actually, well, I've never played it. I've seen on a, a playthrough before, actually. Yeah, he'll also shoot his KR spears at you occasionally, like he did just there, and if you boost into him, he'll kind of just back off. And, oh, yeah, because right there I just boosted past the little spear thing. I don't know what they're really called. Probably actually listen to Omer Chow, he'll tell me. <laughs> Remember, kids, listen to Omer Chow, stay in school. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's nothing too much to it. Of course, it's taking place on a space colony arc. And basically, your goal is, is you want Shadow to lose all of his rings. Actually, I almost killed Shadow back there. We got to zero. Why well, here plays a remix of All Here Shadow? Yeah. Shadow Heroes Rise Again. I'm waiting everything that's not your friend. Alright, I'll stop singing. Y'all don't want to hear me sing. Even though I do actually like All Here Shadow. All Here Shadow is my favorite song from, like, Alf Shadow songs. Anyways, but now we got the fan favorite song, Livin' Lauren. 
And of course, we just gotta hit these asteroids, these meteorites at Shadow, slow him down. I love him, these. I love this. This is like got the living lore in the background, hitting the meteorites. I don't even use sights up here. I feel like it's more epic where Sonic's actually like moving himself. I love this constantly hitting these meteorites though. Come on. And then you just ram into him, he loses all of his wings. I think one time he, we were like both had like a really high wing count because it's taking me a while to do the boss fight. And I pause for some reason. And... Yeah, I remember like he was like, it's like... It was good. But yeah, anyways, that's it for today's part, guys. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Shadowbox. Uh, but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. And I will see you all on the next part. We'll be hitting the halfway mark of this series. Bye!